nine Trinidad and Tobago. From 2010 to 2015, people was afraid to talk anything about government and anything. People was afraid to lose their job. They was afraid to be victimized. You remember that? Yep. Man afraid to open their mouth. They call in your quiet to tell you. I said, no, 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 call. No, no, I can't do that. They go hear my voice and victimize me. No, everybody had tongue heavy <laughs> to talk. Mispronouncing words are not like myself sometimes. But they are real tongue to talk these days and these years. Or oh, I take the calls. Caller. Call us, call us up. Remember, you can use 475-7426 or Tobago callers and or foreign callers. And of course, you know, some of the locals is chucking a little thing here and there, so I won't <laughs> say no. You can call us up. Caller, good morning. 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 So they had 16 billion. They didn't borrow, you know. That was money Mr. Manning had saved. You know what I'm saying? That was money Mr. Manning had saved. They didn't borrow that. That is money they met there. That they spend all, hmm. right? And there was another one that they couldn't touch. Oh, the green fund. They tried to get access to the green fund. You know what they did? That is where they take a loan. They took a loan on the green fund. That is money that you collect from people that make salt, drink, and thing for the bottle and all them thing. Mr. Manning had put in that money one side and pile it up, so they couldn't touch it. So they went and take a loan on the green fund. But you know what they did? People think. 10 days. What they did with 10 days workers? They sent all of them home and they had the highest oil price ever. And then the biggest budget. Hmm. And they sent all 10 days workers home. And when That's they come right, back, this, tell them. this government had was to come and pay them because they went to court and win the matter. Who does work 10 days? Enjoy the day. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Caller, good morning. Bruce, good morning. Morning. Sharon, good morning. Morning. Um, Miss Felix, I come like you this morning. Yes. I, I want to learn. Can you all tell me why is there a non-disclosure agreement in buying the vaccine? Can you explain that to me? I listen all well, the year. Well, and well, I if, it, if there's a non-disclosure agreement, how you want me to explain it to you? How you want me to explain that to him is a non-disclosure? Oh, you don't know what is a non-disclosure agreement? Mm. I, I'm going to try to get Mr. Imbut to come on one of these days and you can ask him all those questions. Sir and Felix? Yes, sir. There were two questions I was waiting for, right? Right. That was one. I too, I was waiting for that, that you know. One. The next one, I didn't even see any next one, I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting. Right? Because I, I'm almost sure that next question coming. I'm almost sure. <laughs> oh, gosh. Call us up, call us up. Call her, good morning. Oh, I lost it all. Call me back. Eh. I was waiting. I find it take kind of long. Like my was building up the little energy you now, you know? The little confidence to make the call. <laughs> yeah, 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 Caller, yeah, good morning. Yeah, yeah good morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people who really forget in this country. Yeah. You remember Chambers when you went to IMF? When you were giving them 6% and then take it. You went to IMF and they're telling me I can level 15,000 civil servants. Right? And he could not do it. I believe that time is now coming. But this country will never go good so long as UNC is a position leader in this country. They will never, the country will never go good. I can really at them. Food them out next time. People are supposed to listen to them. Hmm. Thank you. And Thank if you after call many man say COVID, they have faced in truth that really resemble them. And I know, like, they like the truth, and the things are like the truth. Thank you. Caller, good morning. Thank you. Yeah, good, good morning, Rosie. Morning, good morning, Mr. Chance. Trying to get them all the listeners. <coughs> so I just called in to make this point, because I think it's important that we we understand these things, you know? You know, I know it is out of the, the, um, the topic. The caller asked what is a non-disclosure agreement. Well, let me just respond to him. 
you have to get the Minister of Finance to do that, you know. A non-disclosure agreement is a legal document, you know. And they are, they are just the same word conditionalities. If you decide non-disclosure, do not disclose. And that's by law. I don't, I don't understand what he didn't understand it, by that. I, I, so, that's why I said, you know, we need to, to let all people understand. And no, but Mr. Chan, time, Mr. Chan. When government discussions, whatever it is, America, they are non-disclosure agreement because you have to protect. I was just, Mr. Ambrose, tell him I was just waiting you know, on this process. What is a non-disclosure agreement? Sharon? Pardon? You here in Sharon? Very little, you know. I, I'm not hearing anything, but I'm just talking because I see I know the connections and everything off. But I hope the people are hearing me. My, my okay, point let me is go ahead and that non-disclosure means do not disclose. Do not say. <laughs> Don't talk about it. <laughs> the same thing. You remember when the oil field workers, trade union, had the agreement with the other people? They, they couldn't say anything because they had a non disclosure Because there are penalties. And the yeah. penalties are heavy. The penalties mm -hmm. are very heavy. So I just wanted to clear that up. The other quick thing I wanted to say, I remember, uh, I think it was Mr. Sanigani spoke about the Heritage and Civilization Fund. And he made a very important point, you know. It is called stabilization. And that is the reason why we're taking that part of the fund, to stabilize the economy. And the value of it now is $5 billion U.S. And that is why we're going into that to touch it. Because stabilization means we have an economic problem. When you go to the IMF, it's because you have an economic challenge. But we do have an economic challenge. But we also have a heritage and stabilization fund. So we're taking some money of that to help us stabilize the economy. And that, I think, is a good choice. And uh, the other thing we have, which is in our favor, is the foreign reserve. We have somewhere close to 6 million U.S. 6 million U.S. dollars in foreign reserve. So we have that is called a buffer. So we have something to keep us secured and keep us away from the conditionalities that I spoke about Earlier on, loss of jobs, loss of values, um, um, cost of living going up. And I made a point about what happens with pension. I want to repeat that again. The grants, these are not really pensions, you know. These are grants that the government will give because the government will have a social hand, a welfare hand. And we spend $5 billion in that. And when I, when I do my research, I told you 107, the 107,000 is only those who receive it, see the citizen grant. But when you count out all of them, it is over 200,000 persons. And you know our population is 1.3 million. Over 200,000 persons in this country receive grants from the government. So you can imagine 200,000 people having a problem with their cost of living to buy food, to put it on the table, to co co cover transport, and all these things. That is going to create chaos in your country. And as some Akola said earlier, what's going to happen? There's going to be civil disobedience. People are going to be marching all over the streets for time immemorial. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chance. Sean, we have about a minute and a half to go again before we go to the break. Angie, morning. Hi. Hi. Sean, morning, morning, Bruce, morning, morning to everyone else. But Sean, I sit down here and I at a loss, you know. This disclosure is to make something known. So if I say non disclosure, what does that mean? It's, 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 it's confidential. When, it's, it's, it's not to be made known. When we come huh? back, I will read it out, spell it, I will oh, draw Lord. it, and I will squeeze it out for him when we come back. What a thing. <laughs> Jesus. They find one they didn't get through this morning, they send a next one. But let me just tell them a non-disclosure agreement is a contract by which one or more parties agree not to disclose confidential information that they have shared with each other as a necessary part of doing business together. You didn't ask, you didn't ask your party about the non-disclosure agreement when they was building the Coover Hospital. You mm -hmm. didn't ask that. But you're coming now to ask questions for the vaccine and others. You didn't ask that. Tell them to give you the, the recipe. When you're coming to need the dough, tell them give you the full recipe and not half. 
You forget the east. You ain't get a raise. Go to your break. We'll be right back. Without Republic Bank, Carib, Digicel, Guardian Life Media, KFC, real people, all you give a round of applause for corporate for stepping up right now. They are doing their part for culture. And thank you for coming every show. Hello, 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 hello. Uh, this is so much so much better than singing just for the screen. I miss all you. I didn't see all the fire. I didn't see plenty of my artists fire either. Right now, I want you to make some noise for Turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up. Yo, 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 yo. Here to help. 
You can have your urgent eyeglasses in three days with packages starting at $695. When you visit us, be mindful of the three W's. Wear your mask, wash your hands, and watch your distance. Please call us toll-free 800-2020 for expert advice on your vision needs or to book your appointment. Value Optical, caring for your eyes. Simpsons Memorial Limited, number 63 Eastern Main Road, Laventille. Internationally accredited funeral directors and embalmers. A full-service funeral home serving families of Trinidad and Tobago and internationally since 1945. At Simpsons Memorial Limited, we serve with dignity in assisting families in honoring the memory of their loved ones. Our services include professional funeral and pre-planning, burials and cremation, custom-built and imported caskets, coffins and cremation trains, cemetery management, limousines, mourners' cars, grief counseling, web streaming of funerals, fully air-conditioned chapel with live musical accompaniment, full global shipping and receiving of loved ones. We specialize in facial restorations. Call us anytime, day or night, at 623-8688. That number again is 623 623- 8688 Simpsons Memorial Limited. Superior service always with excellence. Take me to the game. I don't have much to bring. Take me to the Looking for a safe and relaxed professional massage therapist and nutritionist? Look no further. Nature's Touch with Empress Judy and Associates offers a natural approach to better health. Treat yourself to a professional massage therapy and nutrition advice in a safe and relaxed atmosphere. Rejuvenate your body, mind and soul at Nature's Touch Therapy. For an appointment, please call or WhatsApp 1-866-398-8282. Or visit our Facebook page. Remember, your health is our responsibility at Nature's Touch. For some, today is just another routine 24 hours. To others, today is first page in tomorrow's story. It's the audition for tomorrow's performance. It's the spark that ignites tomorrow's change. The perseverance for tomorrow's breakthrough. The first like of tomorrow's big hit. Never take your today for granted. When life is on, those who truly believe in the power of today can become anything tomorrow. Mobile. Just be. Turn your lights down low and listen to the Master's Radio. The Church of the Firstborn Assembly Miracle Center of number 399 Eastern Main Road, Waiko in San Grande is pleased to present Pastors Morris and Agnes Johnson and guests on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. Sundays, Ministry of Worship, Children's Hour, and the Word from 1 to 6 p.m. Tuesdays, see Jesus in every book of the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, from 9 p.m. to 12 midnight. Wednesdays, we deal with current affairs from a biblical perspective, from 9 p.m. to 12 midnight. Tell your neighbors, tell your friends, tell everyone. For further information, visit with us at www.churchofthefirstbornassembly.org. Facebook, email us at church668hope at gmail.com or call us at 753-1113 or 236-7271. Your free will gifts and offerings will be greatly appreciated. Account number 795-222 at the First Citizens Bank. Hey, you keeping safe? I hope so. I don't really know what will happen when everything will back up, but... The lime had to go on. But in the meantime, let's come online with the live wire. I'm on the street 919 FM every Saturday from 5 to 8 p.m. Or you could check us out on the live on Facebook at the street 919 FM or on YouTube at Street Street TV. Don't forget to share the live. That might just be as important as you keeping safe. So mask up, sanitize, tune in to the street 919 FM, lime only live wire. Saturday afternoons, 5 to 8 p.m. Don't worry, I gonna be home in time for the cookie. Keep safe.
Johnny Q, auto parts division? Yes, sir. I'm here to investigate an assault on batteries. Excuse me, sir? Is it true? You have batteries selling for $488? Yes. Power Master, Optima, Vata, and Megastar batteries. So I can buy a battery for $488? Yes, sir. For cars, trucks, and boats. Backed and distributed by Massey Automotive. Which part? Right here at Johnny Q, Hardware and auto parts division. 15 Arabita Avenue, Woodbrook. And our new Johnny Q Superstore. Located at Lowlands Mall, off Claude Noel Highway in Tobago. You could call 60 tools. All right. Thanks, boss. <laughs> nah, man. Granny. Do you have $488 to lend, man? Huh? Now, there's a new way to pay your electricity bill. Quick pay. Quick pay your bills today. Introducing Quick Pay, a new service from the Trinidad and Tobago Electricity Commission that lets you pay your bill online with your credit or visa debit chip card. Just enter the account number and contact information. Click Pay and you're done. This is the Street 919 FM COVID-19 updates. In case you missed it, the latest COVID positive cases in TNT as of 15th June 2021 stands at... New positive cases, 327. Total active cases, 8,965. Total recovered patients, 19,667. Total positive cases for COVID-19 as of March 2020 to present, 29,309. Follow the Ministry of Health COVID-19 protocols. Wear your mask, sanitize, social distance, and avoid gatherings. A message from The Street 919 FM. The Street 91.9 FM brings you today's tips to improve your financial literacy. Improving your financial literacy is a never-ending endeavor that needs to be prioritized. As you work on improving your financial literacy, it's important to continue your momentum. Here are your tips. Implement the 72-hour rule. The 72-hour rule is a game-changer when it comes to savings and focusing on value spending. Before making any sort of impulse purchase, pause and take 72 hours to think it through. After 72 hours, you will likely have forgotten about making this purchase entirely. Also, you've just saved yourself a few dollars, maybe even a few hundreds by doing so. Over time, this rule can be the difference of thousands of dollars and can help you shift your spending habits to focusing on things that bring you value and align with your financial plan. That was your financial tip brought to you by The Street 91.9 FM. Share the law. Share the law. The Street 919 FM on Facebook and Instagram. Share the law. Iowa George on Instagram. Share the law. Iowa TV and Street Street TV on YouTube. Share the law. The Street 919 FM. Yo, Yo, this is your boy Ziggy Rankin, and right now you're listening to the Titans of Democracy. Real talk. of democracy on the street 919 FM
titans of democracy. You don't know. Real talk, talk. So welcome back, welcome back. Sharu. All right, so I'm here. Nice. Nice, nice. So we're back, we're back. And, um, yeah, where were we? Right. The, this idea, so, top this idea for me. The back, uh -huh. the back side, the, the, the really? back side of it. That? Right. right, I'm making sure. You want me to... Uh, no, 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 no. I realize, and but after that, I will make some adjustments. That mm -hmm. probably need to just turn around a bit. I need to reach by you. So, yeah. So to tell the gentleman before we went on the break, non-disclosure agreement. You know, these people are so convenient. It, it, it amazes me. You know. So what do you need to know about a non-disclosure agreement? So let's do some edu edifying here this morning. A non-disclosure agreement is a legally binding contract that establishes a confidential relationship. The party or parties signing the agreement agree that sensitive information they may obtain will not be made available to any others. An NDA may also, which is a non-disclosure agreement, may also be referred to as a confidentiality agreement. Non-disclosure agreements are common. So the caller who called to want to ask, because when King Z come just now, he couldn't explain himself well. So he start off for maybe on the wrong foot, so they send another Gunter. So to the Gunter, <laughs> you can research, go up on the internet and find out what is a, a non disclosure agreement so that you don't have to come and ask me or maybe you want me to look it up for you probably you don't have the resources to do so but mm. y'all are too convenient so let me ask a question and you see y'all just call and, and hit your whoop and, and run you don't wait to see if you get catch and, and or, or you get run out what you prefer I'm just asking a simple question. So Grim Trace called in and he made his comments and he said the reason why, and I could understand that. And he stand up here like a man with his discussion. But some of y'all come in, you hit, miss. All you'll get water in on your hand and water in your knee and you'll get run out. Get your facts first before you call. Because I tell all you, when I ain't know something, I'm not putting my foot, my mouth, my hand, nothing in it. Because I'm not specialized in that field. So I ain't doing that to make myself look like a fool. But I am asking, what would you have preferred? Or what do you prefer? So if you're listening, you could call back in and, and answer the question. And let us have a discussion as to what you prefer. Trinidad and Tobago do at this time. Hmm. Are we the only country looking for a loan? I'm just asking. I am just asking the question. So we continue to take your calls because I don't want anybody to complain and say they cannot get to call in. The lines are open. And if you're not getting through on the station line, you can call me on 475-7426 and I'm sure to take your call. But just before we take, I take the next call, let me say happy birthday to Anne-Marie Paul Roberts from um, Brothers Road, New Grand. It comes from Wallace and Mandy. So I do hope that you enjoy your day today. And of course, let me say good morning to all of the persons on our YouTube channel and on Facebook. To Miss Anne-Marie Rice, I saw you sending good morning greetings to Mr. Neville Chance. I hope Mr. Neville Chance saw it. <laughs> so to all of you guys, I say happy morning to you. And I want you to continue um, listening, sharing the lives, and making your contributions. Yes. All right? So, so call, let's go. Kola, good morning. Hi, morning, Bruce and Sharon. Morning, morning. Morning. Bruce and Sharon, let me give them an example 
of the non-disclosure and how it's how it has been used in the past. The cancellation of the OPVs went to the arbitration. The, the, the situation, I'll you know, go into details with that. The, the boats were built, especially for Trinidad and Tobago, and when it was finished and ready for delivery, the new government came in and they cancelled it and asked back for the money. So these, the boat builders say, I am not giving you back the repent of the arbitration. In the, repent to the arbitration. In the meantime, the Brazilians and them were showed interest in it and they purchased it. So the boat builder realized Trinidad and Tobago to the boat to sell it to them. And they wanted now, Trinidad and Tobago wanted back a certain amount of money. They said, no, I can't get our money back. So it went to arbitration. Now, what we got back, we do not know because it was a non-disclosure. Why would, why would they want a non-disclosure and something that if you said you won the arbitration and you get back all your money, something had to be wrong with that? Because when I started to do my exercise and started to think about what would that cause the state to send these tailors, these um, close guard men and them to England, food them, house them, and to train them. And other things had to factor in. But what I used to tell me, what I'm telling myself, all we get back is just because I'm telling me both, but we did a lot of things that we couldn't get back from that contract because all those things were in the contract. Mm. We already, when we paid for the boats, we paid for sailors to come up, they house everything. So we didn't actually get back 100% of our money from the arbitration. And then the non-disclosure of it is that they cannot talk about it because somebody you tend to lose money on both sides. If Trinidad and Tobago talk about it, you got to pay the boat builder. And if, if the boat builder talk about it, you got to pay the, the, the Trinidad and Tobago. So something was fishy with that, with the, the attorney general who tried to have to face the court for some matter of thing again. Maybe that's some kind of thing, you know. We got trust these people. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. I wonder if the caller listening for him to call back. Well, the Sean, lines open. Sean, that was Don't. the um that was the grammar the grammar question. I still waited on the mathematical question. <laughs> <laughs> caller, good morning. Maybe, maybe Hello, time will run up that we may not get the question. Good morning, Mr. Bruce. Morning, Could morning. Somebody call uh, the senator. Knock it, hack it, and let him listen to this program this morning so he will know what his house Negro is doing with the money. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not good, no? Yeah, <laughs> not good. As you can call us up on 3420081466539. Caller. Hi. Caller, good morning. Hey, good morning, Bruce, brother. Morning. Good brother? A little better. Hey, Miss Sharon, how are you going, girl? Are you, are morning, you, a good, you, a are good. Are you feeling so tired? Will you do so? <laughs> Things nice and good. You're tired, tired. Ah, boy, the, the sanitary is working, boy. I like good news. Hey, I'm Bruce, tired at you, all. You, 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 I, I hear you know, a narrative and a stupid talk about the IMF. Right? Let understand. If people want all the subsidies to cut and all the social programs to cut and all the vocational skill programs like YTEP, MOSLAP, all these, MILAT, all those programs will be cut when you bring in the IMF. will be curtailed the public service as well because public spending has to be freezed and curtailed. So all these things, Bruce, is going to be cut. All right. So, so, so let's start some of the subsidies. Water and life. That going up. <clears throat> your air bridge, your sea bridge, Tobago, I think it's what, Bruce? 200, 150? Mr. Bonnie Plain. That might go that might go to twelve hundred both with both ways, six hundred apiece. The water taxi subsidized. Mm -hmm. Right? The the, the, the the sea ferry, the buses, the bus transportation, all those things are subsidized, which he, which the IMF will want you to cut to to cut back on and stop subsidizing because all they're concerned about is they're getting back payback for their loan. All, the, on all the grants, all the social grants, pension, disability, public assistance, all those grants and social welfare will be cut, curtailed. I think we still have subsidy on super and diesel. 
all that is going, it's 475, the other thing is 275. That is going to raise. So all, so all what life is going to get is hardship and there's been seed up. You see that drug that the old people go for, and my partner mother went and collected mother yesterday. All that will be cut and, and curtailed for the poor people and the elderly. Hmm. So the whole country hardship, you see, there's a, you, you see, PNM, Mr. Ember and Dr. Ron going to take that basket, Bruce. What they're trying to do is to try to create civil unrest. Because nobody could bring empirical evidence to tell me that the IMF have changed their policy with poor developing countries. From what I heard the other night on TV, that the, con the conditionality still stands, that public expenditure and spending must be, must be curtailed. And the first thing the public, all the unions asking for their, their increments, 10% and 8%, all that has to go on a freeze. So no, so all the public servants, they have to remain with that present salary that they're under. So you see this dotish talk and stupid talk. I am a good friend, Vastan Barat. And my lovely sister, Dr. Marlene at bring Isa Mando run with what talk shows, tell me and people tell me, bring in spherical evidence, showing me, reading out to me that the IMF changed their policy on poor and developing countries when they lend them money. All them programs, must programs, all them little programs, the women is going to look to make time bomb ball. My sister when I do a cooking course in, 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 in um, what do you call that thing again, Bruce? Oh, God. White the program, White tip. All them programs where people is just go and just go for the stipend. And we know that then all that going and get cut. And, hmm. and, 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 and all people who are the house in Tobago and who just use the, the, the travel to Tobago like they go in shop on us, that is going to skyrocket because aviation, all that is subsidized by the government. So I just end then to say, all the economists who toughen up poor people and we who are little education here, Bring in period empirical evidence showing the public that the, the IMF who let in foreign income countries that a policy change that they don't have to curtail public spending. Then I go believe that. After that, I go believe that. But thanks, Sharon. Here, you enjoy yourself, man. Dominic Bruce, thanks for the opportunity. Yeah, man, thanks. Yes. Hmm. Sharon. Hi. <laughs> At a laugh, yes. Hmm. I also want to tell the caller, why do you need to know about a non-disclosure agreement? We'll okay. give you some education here today. Or why do you need a non-disclosure agreement for an acquisition? For buyers, having an NDA, which is a non-disclosure agreement, is a form of risk management. A non-disclosure agreement provides buyers with access to management and financial audits, which is vital in evaluating a purchase. Non-disclosure agreements have commercial and practical implications for both parties involved in an acquisition offer. So I hope that answers your question, caller. And I hope that you will go back now to ask your leader, why or if she know what is the meaning of a non-disclosure agreement mm. so that they don't send you with your script that you turn it upside down and that they find that the, the, the bulldog who came on before didn't ask the question right so they send you so i hope that answers your question all right trinidad and tobago i hope so so let me say to the 388 well yes viewers on youtube thank you so kindly and I'm not seeing the Facebook so well, so... 216. Right, so to tell you, thank you very much and good morning. It's 8.24 a.m. Today is the 16th of June, 2021. I would have liked the caller to call back and tell me if he would have preferred that we go back to the IMF. Hmm. But apparently, maybe his money ran out on his phone or he cannot see his way to find his phone in the dark to call us back. Maybe. So, I want to leave it there. <laughs> call good morning. morning. Morning again, Bruce. I will, I will, I'm Sharon. Could, I would like to endorse what Rowley Jr. was saying, but I don't think that is the real thing with these people in the UNC and all these um, financial gurus and, 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 and them. I, I believe, personally, these people damn well know what going to the IMF means for the country. 
They know what happened. They, they remember what happened in Ian Robinson days and the coup and all these bacchanals. But I just believe they feel is a way that when the country go down, they will get political mileage. They will do anything. Imagine all they want to see Trinidad fail for all they to win an election. That's how desperate all it is. These people damn well not going to the RMF media if they don't know. It's games they're playing with me. It's chopping and they on. And Mr. Levy, they only call them to find out and disclose and all kind of things. Let me tell you, ask Kamla, what was not disclose? How would he beat up what are we for that? That that the mm -hmm. night after the election, the, the contract has gone. He didn't wait till a day after he gone to Panama. A place with non treaty um, um, laws and things. Guys, we have to find out. You know, Santa Rivers non disclosure with the money they went, like a thief in the night and NGC money. They should have given us the so close. After that, well, then I pack a shop in this money. And all they are ready for the PNM, not even on the worst day. Great is the PNM, and we will always prevail. I love to and listen to Sharon and those things. Thank you very much. And, and, and to remind the population, remember, it was sausage and ketchup. All I remember that. Yes, Angie. Non disclosure for the 34 million. Ah! Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 34 is joke. 400 and how much million? Hmm. How many people died because of all of that? How many people? You know, sometimes you really sit down and wonder what we as a people want, you know. We have a virus in this place. You can't see, touch it. You can't smell it. You don't know where it's coming from. You don't know. Just now, some you will see people walking with a bubble. You're inside of a bubble and you're moving around because you're so, you're so scared. But we choose to talk about the vaccine, the process of the vaccine. We choose to talk about a number of things before we choose to come together as a people to fight this. We choose to make havoc and mayhem in a country while the virus sweeping across the land. Not another country opposition you hear in fighting the government and fighting down one another. Only in Trinidad, I could say I hear that and seen that at this time. We have issues all over the world. It is not just meant for Trinidad and Tobago, it's all over the world. And I'm not talking on behalf of not political party. I am speaking to people from my heart. We are citizens of Trinidad and Tobago, whether you like it or not. And there comes a time when you need to take off your political coat and hat. And we have to be mindful and understand. All you're saying so much a thing about the vaccine. I played a clip. We played a clip for you all. They continue to feed you with misinformation. We didn't ask for this uh, 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 on this uh, um um oh um, gosh man a non-disclosure <laughs> agreement uh, NDA. We didn't ask for that for the EMBDA. Bacchanal and that going on. We didn't ask for that. We didn't ask for a non-disclosure agreement for land that went from $5 to $100 million. We didn't ask for that. We didn't ask for it. But you're coming to ask me this morning about non-disclosure agreement. But let me tell you what I'm giving you this morning. You and I have a non-disclosure agreement as of today. <laughs> Next caller. Caller, good morning. Good morning, Bruce. Morning, morning, mother. Morning, Sharon. Morning, Mommy. How are you all doing? Let's just have we good, we good. Yes, everybody all is on board and out here. Sharon, it's not that I just don't want to be calling in, you know. You see them good guys that them who don't have the privilege or the, the other frequency that lock them up, they fed up on them now. So they can't call in over there. That's why they, they, they trust in the street, if they shut it off. If you've been doing it as a Google, and you know, all the kids have too much time, that's what they want. They're blocking us down, Sharon. I was lying over the end about the comedy that these people love not to come here since one or two run them off. They have no time left. They can't get in over there. So they run it out there because they know this is the number one station that people listen to. So they call it in the student. They're nasty, virus around here. 
go. We need to use the activity. We have to use our tools to get a little up. Just like the government working the vaccination to get rid of COVID. But all you got to go. And all you not coming back. And die with burden on you. Because all you the voices, all you try to hold back from calling in, they're blocking us. So we can't get to continue to tell them they're not coming back. And it's that little. So now we're fighting on here. All you have three and a lot of years to go to get all the physical and tobacco out of the cold dose of COVID. Who don't want to take it because of follow the leader, leader, leader. And the leader don't know if she's going up or she's going down. You understand? So all you don't care about it anymore because we know. Well, well Dr. Rory is doing two terms. But I'm here, I'm coming back. We have, a, we have intelligent minds. FDPNM. But all of them have is lawyers, liars to protect all of them from the robbery all they want to do all the years. But we, we smart now, we wake up. We smell the coffee, we drink it, cocoa tea, chocolate tea, all the tea. We have them locked down. And then when they catch it, and they come in here to learn. Shall I just learn it? It's just for them done tea and them, you know. Kids, the egg, you know, but let me tell you, eh, eh. I get that, I, 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 I don't know to my mailbox. They don't want kids, you know, Sharad. Sharad kids, they fight for his life right now in the U.S.C. They don't want him. Come, let them don't want him. Okay, this dog club jumping for the people water and want to talk about David Lee and all these people and them all over the world. He's talking to me, he's talking to you, you know, he, you know what? You know, Shadow have a calypso today. He had to get out because he's a hero. She, she, she talk and she talks and she forgets she forget when she talks. That woman could talk. That woman could go on stage. Shadow, all right, who's the name? Hmm. Good. Oi. You, you don't want to play too much people to replay it, you know. You, 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 Bruce. It's not that at all, I go man. back to God, so because you, you went to my tight pad. <laughs> you understand, son? Kids, they don't want you, boy. You're fighting for your life, but they don't want you. You are an extra shout. I'm going to tell you who's the next one of the other frequency. I get this good. I quit the other you're going to lie on me. You're lying on me to get fame. And you're lying on me. But don't let me, hear us, kick this, don't let me open my mouth, you know. Don't let me open my mouth and love you as a mother of a son. But you're too disrespectful. You're going to call me the mother of frequency. I is the queen of the hours. You understand? So you can't, don't say I'm because I can't walk. I could still talk. God grant me that to stand up and tell her, let's kick this, I'm loaded. Yes, when they come to stop Sharad. And they chop the thing all over. You know, we have to explain it. For them to learn. So don't chant on it, they're so scheming. And such a trick down them. Don't say, A, B, C, D, E, and G, A, J, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, F, D, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Kids, you know, we do. E, A, B, C, quite a little crazy. You're too dumb to play coming to back there. And I tell you, on the off air, that you're trying to learn and you laugh. Shiny laugh for them telling that to you. I say that's coming and set up propaganda, and then they sit back there to take notes from you. Learning institution. I go on. They have a blessed day. I love them, and I love each and every one of them. The other time we don't call, you don't call, call no name no more. They don't call that record. It's a good name because they're good times out there. When they come, Google, you're going to give them too much time. Google, I can't get in by you, boy. You are the, Jennifer, where are you? We ain't in it. Jen, Jen, we ain't in it on, on this morning program. We're going on with you. Eh, we ain't in it at all, but I'm going to be like we ain't in it, buddy. We can't get in good. This is the time for us to unite your Jen, Jen. You know that. You know that, Jen, Jen. Because they want their voice bad, bad, bad. But you know, we call this that so. Honestly, we pay other people, we do petty. We don't sit. Look, I channel, I channel, I call it Shishi and Femi. They don't know that. But I would talk it out there. Well, they don't matter, they don't hold your mouth. You understand? I don't even want to tell you. Shall I love you? But see that? But I love you too. I'm good. Have a good day, my. Enjoy your day. So let me say good morning to all of our viewers and callers online. And I'm seeing a, a, co a, 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 a comment. Um, life is a blessing. 
having a field day. I have, sh- I have Mr. Chance on the line, Sharon. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, Sharon, Mr. Chance, go ahead. Yeah, um, Sharon, I don't tell Let me put a little piece of pepper in that pot here. You put some nice pepper. Yes, for the pepper, you know, man. No, I don't want two, three times. Burst it. I have to because you put some nice pepper. I want to tell the people of China to be go about the penalties for disclosing. You know, a couple of days ago, it is was the opposition leader. She went and disclosed an incomplete audit in a public meeting. You know that? That is a, mm-hmm. a situation of non disclosure. She went and disclosed the AV oil and say she had it and it was incomplete. You know that cost enough? Who's the one? Billion dollars. You understand? That is what he talk as a consequence of disclosing. Ramesh Maharaj, the council said that this is Kamla Prasad Bishesa disclosed an incomplete audit. And that was the grounds under which the EV oil won the matter. You know what is the potential of that? One billion dollars. You know what one billion dollars could do for us? You know how much that could help us with our vaccines? You know how much that could help us with our salary grants? You know how that could help us with the buffer, the, the old age pension and things we get in? You know how much it will help us with all aspects of the food packages? You know that could cover the cost of million, of thousands of food, food hampers? That is because you disclose something that before the time. Those are the consequences you get. Thank you very much. And, and Bruce? Yeah, Mr. Jones. Let me finally tell you, I want them to disclose, you know, five, you know, Fridays are a big day in this country, day after tomorrow, you know that? Friday? Yeah. You don't know, you don't know, you know, there are big things going to happen Friday, this Friday, boy, you don't know? No. But let me tell you. A I want former to... AG, Mr. Rob Logan, and a former senator, Mr. Ramdin, will be in court. The 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 Vincent Nelson matter, you remember that? Okay. Yeah, Friday coming is the matter. Hmm. Stay tuned, it could be the high court. No, the people want to hide that, but you're hearing it today. Friday, this 18th of June, that matter is going to be heard in the high court virtually. Yes, Mr. Ram Logan and Mr. Ram Deed. They have to answer questions. I'm not saying they are guilty, but they have to answer questions with respect to bribery to Thank you very much. Hmm. Thank you, Mr. Chance. Hmm. Papa. Well, boy, Bruce. Hmm. We're slowly coming to the end of the show. Yes. So today we had classes on non-disclosure agreements, <laughs> the Chinese loan and the IMF loan. And just to top it off, there's a penalty for breach of the non-disclosure agreement. So I want to leave that for him to go and find out, and I want to, apparently, our discussion today, it hurting some people. Because somebody's, um, life is a blessing, ask why it is every time somebody asks, uh, something he said, if we feel as UNC, we know, I know what I'm talking about, you know. If you don't know, I know. I know. And the first thing that you all can jump into is to start to call people names and so on. That is why when you all get it back in your rukunk or tunkunk, all you must learn to take it. Hmm. The first <laughs> thing you all choose to do is to call people names. That's your first your first measure of defense, to call names. The facts are there. Whether you like it or not, they're there. Take your call. Caller, good morning. <laughs> Yes, Bruce, good morning. Me again. Morning, Sarah, morning. morning to you. I know I know believe 10 calls that I call. But uh, um, I thank God for Mr. Chance this morning. I thank God for the healthy discussion. But I want to remind Ms. Kamala, the property tax that she did not support. Had we had that property tax, the borough corporations would have been able to cushion some of this shortfall here this time. And many other things that she, they decide they are not supporting. But especially the property tax. We, we, she not, they're not supporting nothing that is going on with the government being productive in the parliament. 
And I don't know, so I want to thank you this morning, you know, because if you had allowed this conversation with that, oh my gosh, to go ahead, I would have just come off the station. Because in every station, I just fed up. I just fed up with it. And I thank you. You know, if you bring in this information, I have nothing against the young man. The other day I spoke and I heard him calling my name on another station. I don't know this young man, and I have nothing against him. But I want to say, we, our black people, are being used. You're not seeing the, the, the East Indians being used as how our black young men are being used to spread propaganda. I don't mind truth, you know. I don't mind truth. So I want to continue, ask you all to continue. You know, today is my, one of my niece's birthday, Marissa Batiste Thompson, and I wish her all God blessing, a wonderful birthday, and all who are celebrating birthdays for this month, I want to wish you all the best. People stay safe. Remember the three W's? Wash your hand, watch your distance, and be watchful. Know where you are, and God is going to keep us through this weekend. In spite of what people may think and want to do, it will not have a 1990 again in this country. I, to the blood of Jesus, to the power of God, we're not going down that way. Have a nice morning. And I wish you know that they must sanction and sanction some of the radio stations for what are the things that people are saying and they are getting away with murder on the radio stations. Have a nice evening. A nice morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Miss New Village. Let me say good morning to Gabby, to Janine, to Cynthia, to Miss Elda, all of you guys out of Bali's house. Yes, I see it. Good morning to them. Yes. <laughs> Don't like it. Let's sit by it. Good morning. Right. Oh, so, Trinidad and Tobago. And of course, we have um, coming up this weekend, Saturday is a holiday. Yeah. Holiday restrictions. We're going back to 5 a.m. to 10 a.m. by half past nine. Or you get yourself inside. So, I think to me a thing. I so, just had to make sure I had everything inside to cook. Sunday's that day, you know. Yeah, my car, my look, what? Boy, baby's coming because it's the whole weekend is locked down. Wait! Whole weekend is locked down, all oh, yeah. Gosh. Secure all yourself, all right? I'm warning all yeah. I'm warning all yeah. Be careful. <laughs> so I see that, um, so Friday is from 7 mm -hmm. to 5 a.m. And then we go in from 5 to 10 on Saturday. And we go back from... From 10 to 5 on Saturday. From 10, yes, from 10 yeah. a.m. No. Five. Yes. 5 a.m. in the morning to 10 a.m. And oh, So we go back from 10 to 5. That's right. And then we go from 5 to 7 on Sunday. And then we go back normal on mm -hmm. Monday. So, boy, ay, ay, ay. Who ended badly wounded? <laughs> mm. when, I, when, I, when, I, when, I reach, when I reach by a uh, car move... <laughs> if only all your tonight is thunder. Government clamps down on holiday weekend activities. A full lockdown will be in effect for this weekend as the government moves to clamp down on any public gathering held to commemorate Labor Day. No outside people stay indoors. All right. As I said, stay indoors. I see judges unable to decide on EMBD cartel claim appeal matter referred to full court. 13 PSA members challenge suspensions in court. What is this? What? Coming to the end of the show? Wait. 13 members of the Public Service Association PSA are challenging their suspension by the union's president Watson Duke in court. On Monday, a high court judge temporarily oh. ordered a lifting of the suspension of the 13. When is this? Oh, you know, see, there, yeah, I know, you know, see that? Yeah, Papa. Yes. Yeah. Justice Deventra Rampersad made the interim ruling on Monday after holding the, um, the 13 members who was in substantive or substance a suspension and held that PSA President Watson Duke did not have the powers to suspend or, uh, 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 the members under the union's constitution. But there's a talk going around, but you see, I don't want to carry on the conversation because, you know, I like the truth, the facts and everything. I see in the 13 
Damian Vincent, Ainsley Williams, Jennifer Frederick, Preston George, Nixon Callender, Dwayne Hewitt, Oral Saunders, Darrell Lamy, Jason Dottin, Jude Davidson, Derek Wint, Ian Murray, and Charlene Suchet Dorica well, were suspended in April. Well, it looks only 13. <laughs> you can't talk, I tell you. Anytime, talk, I'm a, anytime I call that man in here, Tobago does come off. And then all kind of things does happen to the internet. <laughs> Bam, it has cut off. All kind of things. So me, I want to call the man name too much. But Watson Duke, oh God. Eh, hey, what a juke. Everybody, I did this that. Country. Nelly, everybody that run against him, but I the greatest. <laughs> and just now, he might, he might, well, I might wash my mouth because instead of three, I might get zero. It's have, it have no democracy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh Lord. Eh, I, I understand the thing. But say what? Trinidad and Tobago, it's 8.46 a.m. And remember, eh, eh, let me tell you, they have something called Titans Radio. So if you want me to send you the link, I could send you the link. Just send me a little WhatsApp, ping, ping, and I'll send you the link. <laughs> All in my business. i looking for higher heights. I ain't able with this nonsense. God help us. Uh-uh. <laughs> and, of course, sip and chat. Hoping tonight we'll have a little sip and chat on a Friday night. So, you need to link me. All you ping me now. So I could send out the link for you. Hello. I need to send a little... Uh, I need to send a message to you. Or send it now. So Trinidad and Tobago. And um, so Titans of Democracy, we're doing plenty of things. And I have the opportunity that I'm home doing my stuff. So I, I need to say to all of you, thank you so much. And of course, coming soon, the website is being built. Things are happening. It will we'll tell you. I'll, I will tell you more once I have the opportunity to. Hear. If I don't have it here, I'll do it somewhere else. You know me. I ain't here, a Frank. So Trinidad Tobago, it's eight forty-seven a.m. So people call me up. Understand <laughs> Tobago sometimes is cut off. I'm do say nothing, eh? <laughs> right? Shocks. I don't care about that. <laughs> at least, at least. We ain't owing nobody. So I don't like your ways, girl. You see, we ain't nobody. You see what I wrote the Mr. message, Chance, you know? Mr. Chance is the author of the name. Oh, Sorry God. about that. I didn't realize that now. But I know. True. You ain't know that. Yeah, as I have now that you tell me. We ain't owing one soul. Oh, God. Uh, so, Trinidad and Tobago, we're getting ready to leave in a short while. 441 is the numbers on YouTube and uh, two something is Facebook. Yes, so um, 234. Yeah, Facebook. So Trinidad and Tobago, the world by extension. Let me say good morning to everyone outside of Trinidad and Tobago and all of you all trying to come back home and trying to leave. You see, Bacanal going on outside, eh? People jumping up all over the place. They leave me here in a lockdown and they go and they have been fun. <laughs> but don't worry. Trinidad and Tobago will soon come back to normalcy. We may not be a hundred percent, but once we follow the protocols and do what we have to do, we will get there. I am speaking. All I'm asking people be, Yeah, mm -hmm. all all of you all who need to get your vaccine, please go and do so. Um, I was told I, I, I understand there's supposed to be a, a rollout. I'm not too sure because I realize um from reading and listening and looking and understanding, we got the 200,000 Sinopharm and I think another 300,000 is coming. added for being here soon and a little more and other, other um, vaccines are coming in. So people go and get vaccinated. I'm not forcing you to do it. It's up to you, but make your choice. I did mine. So I'm going to get my second shot very soon. I had my boys did their their first shot and their second shot is almost the same time with me. Please go and get vaccinated. Yeah. Um, I was trying to call a gentleman to give us a little testimony, but um, I'll try to get him so I could 
we can do that on Friday. And I'm hoping that on Friday, please go on, we'll have a little exercise again. Although I told, so I told Lincoln, some of our ageable people complain, they say, oh God, Miss Sharon, the pace, the pace, oh God, my heart was hurting. So he dis- we, dis- we decided we're going to do some softer exercise. So I'm going to speak with him today. And I'll see if on Friday we can do a little session again if he comes on, if he has the time to do so. And we need to talk to the nutritionist because while we're home, we must follow our eating habits. Make sure we do like our boost eating. Hmm. We should try that, you know. I'm trying that. You're trying it? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying it. I'm trying it. Oh, God. Bear with me. Bear with me. Bear with me. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying it. You know? But um, with God's grace, we will soon overcome this uh, position we're in. All right? Yep. Good. So, uh-huh, okay, I will do that. Give it, Papa. You all your wait. Now, let me finish the program. <laughs> <laughs> let me finish the... Oh, good. What did you do? Please send me the audio. Let me finish. No, don't worry. Don't worry. So, Trinidad and Tobago, 851 booths. Any more calls? Mm. I don't want all your complaining. All your foreign callers and Tobago, so they didn't complain because they give all your number to call. I see one come up. And all right. All right. Caller, good morning. Yeah, thanks, Bruce and Sharon, sweetheart. And, and next one, yes. number one IMF, the next cut, Bruce will be the school feeding program. That's a lot of people. Oh, good. Yeah, boy. Children, mm-hmm. When you switch from the one IMF here, you, you are a PNC pep. No, mm. no raise in salary and curtailed. So mm-hmm. it's more service that people pay in, that I just use from Shogunat to Port of Spain, which is $4. Right? That will have to increase because that has already is subsidized. Basically, all the, all the living, basic things that we use in Trinidad, Bruce and Sharon, the average middle and low income people are subsidized heavily by the government. So when I see or I listen to these educated people, they are their agenda. They are their agenda like everybody else. Right? <clears throat> so I just will run it with a saying. I don't have to say go. All the all the women would just go and learn the little geriatric course, all the young women. And white tip and all of that. All that going and get cut. Hmm. Right? All that. So all those things. And you just see that again, as I say, all that going and get cut. So you see this stupid talk? I'll just end and say that Vassan and all the usual suspects and Dr. Marlene are bring in empirical evidence with a document to the public showing me that the structural adjustments of the IMF have changed for low income and developing countries on the conditionalities. And you see that stupid talk with the next one talking about non-closure? That is simple, basic business in the corporate world and government to government. Because if Bruce, like the vaccines now, Bruce pre- pre- preparing vaccines, Sharon doing vaccines. One is American, one is Chinese. Bruce don't want Sharon to know how much he's selling me his vaccines for. Because Sharon uh, could undervalue her vaccines cheaper for, for Sharon vaccines to move. So that's basically what mm-hmm. non-disclosure non, um, agreement is about. It's a competitive world. So if, if Sharon have an idea that Bruce selling his vaccine for ten dollars and Sharon owning moving, which is America, Sharon say, hey, let me sell we own at six. So Sharon won't go remo- move and Bruce won't go remove on it. Uh, hmm. w- 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 remain on the sand. So it's simple. So this stupid talk. People feel like people never went to school or what? And non-disclosure again. That is fact. That is basic tenants and business and government and life. So people, Bruce, on enjoy Sharon, yeah, enjoy your program. Okay. Nice to hear your voice and stuff. Sharon, just under a minute. Uh, all right, so the word for today is comfort. The love in my heart is my comfort. The love I feel in my heart is my refuge, no matter my circumstances. My comfort is in the love that sustains me through all things. Like a warm blanket that shields me from the cold, my love shields me from life's occasional harshness. I accept the season of loss and pain that visit everyone at some point. I do not shrink 
from any sadness. I feel because the love I feel, the love of God is greater and more steadfast than anything I may call to face. The love that comforts me is also mine to share. It is the love in the kind word gently spoken. It is the love in the tender touch and the patient listening air. The love is my heart calls me to respond with compassion, to take comfort and to I'm give it to assured of its healing gifts. The Lord appeared to him from far away. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, I have continued my faithfulness to you. Jeremiah 31, 3. Trinidad and Tobago, this is where we got to leave it for today. I'll talk to you on Friday, please, God. Be safe. Follow the protocols. Please stay alive. We're gone. Bruce? Ciao. Ciao. Ciao.